Hello, in today's video, we're going to make a beautiful and simple, I think, bow. You can use it for door decor. It's a really good size for that. That's what I'm gonna put it on that you saw me at the beginning there, that piece that needed a beautiful bow. So let's get started. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com. I'm glad you're checking out this video. I hope that you are inspired to try out this bow style. Okay, first I'm using some five and a half inch wide burlap. It's a big roll that I get at Walmart. I cut the first piece 28 inches long then I'm going to cut a second piece of that same burlap um, about eight inches long and then I'm going to split it down the middle I'm just going to cut it in half lengthwise it's kind of curling on me a little bit there so but put that to the side and then you're going to cut just a tiny little strip that's about an inch and a half wide next we're going to pull out our show ribbon our feature ribbon this is a beautiful magnolia print that i got from a place online called craftoutlet.com and it is two and a half inches wide i'm not sure i said that and it's wired so for this style it's important that you do wired the two long strips measure 22 inches then the other piece measures 16 inches that i'm cutting right here so all together these are your three pieces of the feature ribbon and we're going to start with this technique that i think is going to make this a lot easier to put together i have some on uh, my silicone finger protectors on and i'm just gluing each of these pieces where they meet and kind of form a little loop circle there and i'm going to do that for all the longer pieces now the reason that i am sharing this particular technique is because you could try to build this bow without doing this step but you increase your chances of the bow falling apart and you know it just it just makes it a lot easier for you to build and next we're going to do the same thing to the long strip of burlap because that will be our base and the first piece that we hold in our hands so let's pull that out and also do a little glue to connect the ends making our little circle loop again you will see that this will all be a lot easier to build now i this is a hand bow so that means we're going to put all these pieces together in our hand and pinch keep in the center and so the first piece is the large piece of burlap and then we're going to put some wild raffia in i'll worry about trimming up the raffia later next we're going to take the longer pieces of the magnolia ribbon and crisscross that those loops in the hand take a minute to add some more raffia then we're going to put in our burlap strips in a crisscross pattern as well so crisscross these in your hands now, if at any point this feels uncomfortable for you, like maybe you suffer with arthritis or just have maybe a cramp in your hand or something where you can't hold it like this tight, you can use one of those bow makers that holds the pieces for you. Uh, you would be able to do this similar style bow in that kind of device. So after you add more raffia and the other last piece of the magnolia ribbon, you're going to go ahead and take some jute string or your choice of whatever you want to attach all the pieces together with. I just prefer jute because it goes with my look all the time, but you could use a zip tie or a pipe cleaner or whatever you have on hand to get it nice and tight. Any kind of wire will do. I just like to kind of squish it and make sure I get all the gaps between all the pieces of ribbon out so I can get it as tight as possible that will help me be able to really uh, pull all the pieces of the bow together and shape it and bring it to life lastly we're going to take that little strip of burlap that I told you to cut very last and we're going to glue it in the center part just to cover up our jute and that will be nice so we're going to glue that all the way to the back of the bow that you're seeing now and then I'm going to take the string and just kind of tie that off and then we'll continue to kind of fluff it out, shape it up, and attach it to that door hanger so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, I believe that this style overall is pretty simple. And I love that if you do it just like I did this size, that, you know, just using a diff couple different kinds of ribbon, not over complicating it. Um, I do a lot of different kind of bow styles and it's always fun. But depending on how much ribbon you keep on hand, you know, it may be easier for you just to think about simplifying a design and only using two kinds of ribbon. And just as a reminder, this burlap roll that I get at Walmart is a great bargain for bow making, especially if you like that rustic style. So now I'm just using a light duty stapler to pop this beautiful bow on our little door plaque here. And I think that is a beautiful finishing touch. You can try this with all different prints of ribbon or whatever your style may be. You could leave in the raffia, take out some raffia, use something different to give you a little bit more texture. 
um, and just kind of have fun with the concept. I do hope that it will uh, inspire you, like I said, to grab some ribbons and give this bow style a try. Let me know what you think about it. I appreciate you watching so much. Have a blessed day.